Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Shooter Tutorial. So, to get started, let's start with the background. You can choose one from our from the background selection, but I'm going to actually paint my own. I'm just going to make a big square and have it a light gray. I think that looks nice. And then, let's see what we have so far. So, you press and it shoots the projectile so let's make an enemy so make a new sprite call it enemy or enemies and let's make a circle i'm going to do mine like a red color hold shift and then control if you're scaling it after you make the circle and then i'm going to go with the same outline size as the player so it has an outline size of 13 so I'm just going to copy and paste that going to add some eyes and maybe a mouth as well nice good mad face or frowny face I'm going to call it I'm just going to keep it the same name and in the code I bring out a when green flag clicked, hide. So now when you press the green flag, it hides. Bring out a forever loop, and let's wait five seconds for now. And after we wait, before we wait five seconds, let's create a clone. And when I started to clone show, so any moment now, there should be another one. There we go. And I'll just keep creating clones. Now let's bring out um point towards player and move let's start with two steps and bring out a forever loop and have that in a forever loop so now it will move towards the player and we have an enemy that actually tries to attack the player i'm going to change their speed to 1.8 so move 1.8 instead so that way the player is a little bit faster than it than the enemies That'll make it a lot easier to get away. Okay, I'm gonna bring out uh go to random position so that way they're spawning in random spots rather than them always being in the same spot. Okay, that's looking decent now. So let's actually now let's be able to kill the enemies. So in the projectile, when in the repeat ten times, we need to check if touching enemies, and if touching enemies will delete this clone. Let's go to enemies and bring out an if touching projectile, then delete this clone. And now when we shoot it. We can't kill the enemies, and you might be like, that's not reasonable, but right now, it's instantly destroying the object, so we need to wait zero seconds, which is like a frame, so that way, the enemies have a chance to see if they're touching the projectile, and now, you can kill the enemies. Uh, I'm going to bring set the reload in player to 12, so you have a little bit faster shooting you're able to shoot a lot faster okay that looks great pow pow okay let's bring out uh, or pick random one to four instead of wait five seconds in the enemies so that way Lots of enemies can spawn really fast, and it kind of just slows down and waits a while. Let's duplicate our enemy's costume, and let's make it an the second enemy. I'm going to go with a more orange color. I'm going to change the frowny face to, I don't know, maybe like a little bit different. That's up to you if you want to do that, though. Can't undo that. Encode. 
Maybe I'll add a little mustache. Uh, no. Okay, I want to create a new variable. Call it. I want to call it lives for the sprite only. I'm going to set lives to zero when green flag clicked and y zero is a column. Set lives to costume number. And then if touching projectile, we need to change lives by negative one. And if lives are less than one, we need to wait zero seconds and delete this clone. Okay. So now, should be working. Mine isn't. Let's move wait zero seconds after we change the lives. If touching projectile and delete the wait zero seconds in lives. Oh, I figured it out. Set lives to costume number. I accidentally did costume name. So and now it should be working. So the new enemy we just made should have two hit points. So we should be able to hit him twice before killing him. But let's start making our easier ones being able to spawn. So switch costume to one to two. Let's create a new variable, call it speed for the sprite only. And let's set speed. For now, let's just set it to our costume number. And change move speed steps. And now our new guys are very fast and the the one life guys are very slow. And I think I'm looking really good. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss my next episode. Bye.